In this video, we're going to look at the division operation in relational algebra. Let's start with the definition. In relational algebra, division is a binary operation, which means it is applied to two relations simultaneously. Division can only be used on relations where the set of attributes in the dividing relation are a subset of attributes in the relation being divided. This is because the resulting relation contains only the non-overlapping attributes. The resulting relation from the operation will contain all the tuples in R, which are in combination with every tuple in S. Just looking at the definition on its own makes it really hard to visualize how exactly the division operator works. In that case, let's take a look at an example. Here we have a piece of a model with a superhero entity, which has several attributes, including a primary key name and a multi-valued attribute ability. From this diagram, we can create a relation for superhero and an additional relation to contain the multi-valued attribute ability relative to the superhero that possesses that ability. For example, to illustrate the division operator, we want to find all the superheroes which possess all the abilities possessed by Ant-Man. Notice how the word all is bolded. This is because in almost always the format of the task when the division operator is needed. In this example, the relation that we'll be dividing will be the has ability relation. Now we need to set up the second relation, which will divide the has ability relation. From the task, we can see that we need to divide out all the ability possessed by Ant-Man. Using the relational algebra notation, let's create this relation. Here we are projecting the abilities from the selection where name equals Ant-Man. Before we go any further, we can confirm that we are on the right track by ensuring that the abilities contained in our second relation are a subset of the attributes contained in the first relation. Otherwise, according to the definition, we would not be able to perform the div division. And this does look to be the case, since our newly created relation only has the attribute ability, while has ability, which we are dividing from, contains the ability attribute as well as name. Excellent. Now we can perform division. Let's start by checking if the tuple containing Spider-Man will be in the resulting relation. We can see that Spider-Man has the ability Super Strength, and that is one of the abilities we need. So let's put a mark there to help us remember. Spider-Man also has the abilities Intelligence and Agility, so it looks like he matches our condition. It turns out he also has a wall climbing ability, which Ant-Man does not have. However, if we remember back to our definition, we are only concerned with the tuples which are in combination with every ability in our second relation, regardless if our hero in question has additional abilities. Therefore, we can confirm Spider-Man will be in the resulting set. Quickly going over the other heroes in our relation, we can see that Iron Man also matches since he has agility, super strength, and intelligence. The Hulk, on the other hand, only has super strength and intelligence but not agility. So he is not in combination with every ability in a dividing relation. He will not be in the resulting set. This is the same with Captain America, who has super strength and agility, but not intelligence, and Thor, who has some additional abilities, as well as super strength, but not, ag not agility or intelligence. Our final addition to the resulting set will be Ant-Man himself, who we already know has these three abilities, since this dividing relation was created directly from the has relation. Excellent. Now we have our resulting set, Spider-Man, Iron Man, and Ant-Man. I hope this video helped you learn relational division and that you enjoyed the example. Thanks for watching.